we were talking about the flat two, playing a flat two, which he was basically suggesting that very few players would ever flatten a two. Why would they do it? And I was telling him, I've been doing this for a long period of time now. You know, I've kind of been flattening the twos, even though I do it a lot more nowadays because I'm more steeped in progressive music and jazz and jazz fusion than I was back when we were having this conversation. But back when we were having the conversation, I really wanted to step outside of the box. And I figured that that would be an easy way to do that if I altered several of the notes that I was playing. I was always into more exploratory sounds than anything that was traditional. What I just played featured a ton of flat twos. Could you even tell? Probably not. The listener doesn't really know what's happening unless they're just as trained as the players themselves. I'll do it in E. that two would be, just play an E power chord. Your flat two is going to be an F. There are really no rules in music, so you can really play whatever you want as long as it's logical. You can do anything. All you really have to do is try. If you're trying to be the very best player and performer that you can be, step outside of the box and create something new. Marketing experts say that the easiest thing in the world for a person to do is to begin a project, but the toughest thing in the world for a person to do is complete it. So what you want to do is complete all of your projects, but you also want to complete yourself as well by educating yourself as much as you can. Hi, this is Marcus Singletary. Please subscribe to my channel.